artists, welcome back to art class. For this project, we are going to draw on some inspiration from an artist named Jasper Johns. He's actually still alive, he's 90 years old, and some of his pop art, specifically from the painting Zero Through Nine, which you should be seeing on your screen right now. If you take a good look at it, it is actually the numbers zero through nine, just as you see them here except that they're all drawn right on top of each other and then painted in with random colors so it makes it challenging to find the numbers. And that is what you are going to be doing for this project. You don't have to use all of the numbers 0 through 9. If you're feeling up for a challenge and you want to give it a try, you can. But you only have to choose at least four of these numbers, any of these numbers that you want, and you are going to superimpose them or draw them directly on top of each other. I'm going to show you how to do that with four of these numbers, and then I'm going to show you a couple examples just to give you some inspiration and explain how you're going to color the project. So what you're going to need is a piece of drawing paper and a pencil or a marker. You can draw it in pencil first and then trace over everything with marker. I'm just going to do it with marker because I've done this a few times. But I am going to choose four of these numbers to draw on this piece of paper directly on top of each other. The key to this project is not only to draw them directly on top of each other, but to make sure that you are also making them pretty big and that you are drawing them block style exactly how you see them on this board right here before I covered it. So if you would like to when you're working on this project, you can rewind back to this frame right here, pause it, and that way you can see all of the numbers and you can copy them. All right. Now when you're doing that, so let's say for example, I think I'm going to do the number two, I'll do six, I think I'll do four, and maybe also nine. So two, four, six, and nine. So I'm just going to go in order. So I'm going to start off with my number two and I am going to make it as big as possible. I want to take up as much space on my paper as possible. So there is my number two, really big. And now I'm going to draw the number four right on top of it. So watch. All right, next up is six. And nine. And there we go. So I have drawn the numbers two, four, six, and nine right on top of each other. As you can see, I have now created a whole series of smaller little spaces. Now the whole point is that you want to color this project so that you can't find those numbers. So if you don't want to go ahead and color the entire number four one color because then it's going to be very easy for myself as the viewer to find the numbers that you used. If you see this example right here, right, every single space with these numbers has been colored a different color. You can still kind of see some of the numbers that were used. For example, I think that the five is pretty easy to pick out, but it makes it a little bit of a challenge because every single space is colored with a different pattern or different designs. Um, you can see this one here was done with a lot of marker and all of the spaces are filled in with something different. So after you've chosen your four numbers, or again, if you're filling up for a challenge and you wanna do all of zero through nine, totally up to you, you're going to color each of these individual spaces with a different color or some sort of pattern. You can mix and match different patterns and just pieces and bits of solid color to help make your picture more interesting and make it more difficult for the viewer to find the numbers that you've chosen to use in your project. Remember, once you're done, to take a picture and send it to me so I can grade it, and I'm looking forward to seeing your Jasper Johns inspired numbers. And I'll see you guys again next time for art class. See ya.